In this video I'll show you how to easily make one of these simple handheld pistol crossbows. The first step is to simply take a screenshot of this picture. This is the blueprints for the crossbow. Once you've um, taken your screenshot you're going to need to print it out on a piece of paper to the size you want it and you're going to need to cut it out with a pair of scissors. Then you're just going to need to simply take a glue stick and glue it on to some sort of wood. I'm using pine because it's cheap and for the trigger I'll be using some of this good quality plywood. Once you've glued your blueprints to the wood, you're going to need to cut out the crossbow body with a wood saw and you can cut out the trigger with a coping saw. Okay, so once you've cut your two pieces out, you're going to need to draw two lines down the back of your crossbow. Those lines are going to need to be the same width as your trigger. Then you're just going to need to cut down those lines with a wood saw. Okay, so you can go ahead and peel off the paper. Okay, so now, as you can see, I've made my two cuts. I just did that with a plain wood saw. You're also going to need to make another long cut along the barrel of your crossbow. And that's going to act as the slider. That's going to let the pencil slide down. And this is not necessary, but it does make it a lot more accurate. And it can be done with a panel saw, even a wood saw, or a router. Okay, so you're now just going to need to take a chisel and simply chisel out all that section that we cut and that's where your trigger is going to slide in. Okay so as you can see my trigger fits in there nicely and it can easily pivot without any issues. Okay so you're now just going to need to drill a small hole in the back of your trigger. Okay so now I'm just positioning my trigger where I want it to be and I'm simply drilling a hole through the body of the crossbow. Now simply insert a bolt through the body and the trigger mechanism of the crossbow and as you can see it easily pivots. Now to test out your trigger mechanism, simply put an elastic band over the front of the crossbow, hook it over your trigger, pull the trigger and see if it works. Okay so I'm now just cutting a small strip of metal for the trigger guard. Okay so now just bend it to shape drill a hole and screw it to the bottom of your crossbow. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make two types of limbs. First, I'm going to show you how to make the PVC limbs. Okay, you're going to need two types of PVC. Doesn't matter what type, as long as one piece fits inside the other piece. These are about 30 centimeters long, and what we're going to do is actually flatten them using heat. Okay, so what you want to now do is take your PVC and heat it over the stove top. Once it's heated up and it's nice and floppy and bendy, what you can do is simply place it on a piece of concrete on the ground, a hard surface, line it up straight, take a piece of wood and put it on top and press down hard. You want to leave it to cool and right before it cools completely, just chuck it in some water and that's going to help it retain a bit of spring when it gets bent back. Next, just drill a hole in the front of your crossbow. Okay, so now you're just going to need to find the center of your limbs and drill a hole all the way through. I've just now put a bolt through the center of the limbs and into the crossbow. Okay, so now I'm just going to be stringing the crossbow. All I've done is drill holes in the end of the limbs and I'm just threading the string through and tying a knot on the other side. Okay, so as you can see, I've bent this bit of scrap metal into the shape of a crossbow clasp. And now I'm just going to be gluing it to the top of the crossbow and adding a zip tie for a bit of extra security. Okay, so for loading it, just pull the string down until it engages with the trigger mechanism. Simply put your pencil underneath the arrow clasp. That should hold it down so that it doesn't fall out. And now it's ready to fire. Okay, so if you want to make your little pencil arrow a bit more accurate, what you can do is take some electrical tape or duct tape and simply tape it to the back of your pencil 
and cut it into the shape of some nice little fletchings. Okay, so as you can see, when you shoot into wood, it leaves a little mark in the wood, but it actually ruins the tip of the arrow. Okay, to make my pencil a little more deadly, I'm going to add an archery tip. Okay, so to attach a trampoline spring to the front of your crossbow, which you can also use as limbs, I'm just um, taking one of these little brackets and I bent it into shape, and that's how I've attached the spring. You're also going to need to screw in two screws each side of the crossbow and add a couple of elastic bands, twist it around the bracket, and then to the screws. Okay, so now I'm just going to add a little support, and that's going to stop the spring from trying to pull itself under the bottom of the crossbow. Okay, so to load the crossbow, simply bend the spring over, pull the string into the trigger mechanism until it engages and it's ready to go. Okay guys, so thanks for watching this video. There's plenty more like it on my channel, so why don't you go check it out. Thanks a lot guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.